Hello, would you like to know who the best free kick taker in the world ever is? Because so would I. I've been trying to look on the internet to find out who that is using research. And what I've come across is a list of players who have scored many free kick goals. At the top of that list is Janino, Perman Bucano, then Rogerio, Seni, then Ronaldinho, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. You can see all the players, they're on your screen right now. So this is some research done by an outlet called The Pop Foot. Um, so thanks for doing that research. Because the thing is, it's really hard to find the data for this. Because we're including players from right back uh, in the day, like people like Pele, they were good at free kicks. Victor, very good at free kicks. But what we need to do is try and work out with data and using, um, I guess, the opinions of people who we should trust to work out who the real best one is. Now, uh, it is Juninho. <laughs> he is the best one ever, and I'm going to uh, tell you why. So other than scoring lots of goals from free kicks, the thing that Juninho could do that very few can is take free kicks from this far out, literally this far out, and you can shoot it in the goal like this using a knuckleball, which he has been credited with inventing. I'm not sure whether that's true or not, but he certainly does things like that where he makes the ball move like that. And to hit a knuckleball, you hit the ball right through the middle of the ball or just underneath the valve, and it doesn't spin. And the lack of spin on the ball is what makes it move in the air. And there's far more science to it. We'll cover that in another video another time. He can also hit his top spin free kick, so he can get the ball curled up and over the ball from very short range, puts his foot through it. It sort of knuckles, goes into the bottom corner. You can see all these goals in YouTube compilations. And he can also score goals from like this position here. He's right-footed. We would curl it round into the top left from a right side of position. So the goalkeeper never knew what he was going to do. And if you don't want the data, which says that he scored the most and his conversion rate is incredible, what I did instead was talk to Bartek Silvestrak, who is a free kick specialist. He's a kicking specialist, uh, works with all sorts of footballers, all elite levels, and uh, used to be at Brentford. And he teaches people how to take free kicks, including knuckleballs. This is what he thinks. Um, there are three players I would mention. And uh, the first one, Junior Pernambucano, and the second one, Marcos Asunção, and the third one, Marcelinho Carioca. Um, these three players are the best takers in the history of the game. And the reason why um, these three players are the best takers in the history of the game is that um, they are technically the best ball strikers and um, they are the most likely players to score from a free kick thanks to their technical ability. And um, in terms of technical ability, they all had an excellent topspin free kick. And topspin is the ability that allows the player to hit the ball over the wall with power. Something that players who apply inside spin cannot do because they rely on the gravity to bring the ball down. Uh, all these three Braz Brazilians were excellent with a topspin free kick, but also all of them um, had the ability to score from long range, and that's thanks to uh, the knuckleball. And uh, it's very rare that um, we see a knuckleball in the game. And if we were to combine the ability to apply forward spin to the ball and hit a knuckleball, we are left with these three and then we have to start taking some compromises. So that's why they are the best. But if we look at specialist free kick takers from around Europe, um, this is the top five leagues since 2016-17. So currently, Lionel Messi has scored the most free kick goals. This is actually a little bit out of date. James Ward-Prowse has 14 goals now. Um, but uh, Messi here, 22 goals, 200 missed or saved direct free kicks. That's obviously a lot. It shows that the conversion rate is only 10%. This is not amazing. Technically, that makes Ward-Prowse the superior free kick taker to Lionel Messi. And this is the thing, like, so Messi takes a lot of shots, so he gets more opportunity to be able to score. But when we look at the actual data of how he scores his free kicks, well, he doesn't really anymore. He's done hardly anything under P at PSG. Uh, this is his free kick conversion rate and how it's varied. So. Over uh, periods of time, like back in the 09-10 season, okay, but then he goes up, little jump here in between the 14-15, 15-16 season, and then his high over here, 15%, where he's scoring quite a few free kicks, and he gets two in one game in this season here. Then it drops right back down to PSG where we are now. That's not amazing. And another thing that I found particularly interesting was that Bartek also doesn't think Lionel Messi is that good at free kicks. If we look at um, let's say Juninho and compare him to Messi. Messi as a ball striker 
is a far inferior player. He's just not a great ball striker. And if we compare their technical skill sets, for example, in the context of a short range free kick, then we will immediately see that Juninho was a much more likely player to score because he was able to put forward spin on the ball, an ability that Messi doesn't have. Um, a good example, and I know this is going to be a, a strong contrast, but a good example um, of what I'm referring to is Messi scoring the so-called Panenka free kick against Espanyol. Um, he chipped the ball over the wall and then a defender who was um, recovering headed the ball in, uh, got in the way, uh, it was a goal and um, Messi was proclaimed as a genius and um, seen as um, one of the best, if not the best, free kick takers in the history of the game. Now, this shot has got technical deficiency written all over it. It's just a bad shot. Messi chips the ball because he can't apply forward spin. He knows he cannot hit the ball with power, so he chips it. That's technically not a good thing to do. From the same range, Juninho could hit the ball hard, lift it comfortably over the wall. And what's crucial here is that Juninho is not better because I love him more or because I think he's better. He is better because, for example, his ball speed from the same range would have been much higher. We're not talking about differences of 10, 20%. So his ball speed is much higher, which gives the goalkeeper much less time to react and to make a save. That's an objective criterion. It's not an opinion. Uh, secondly, thanks to top spin, you can lift the ball over the wall comfortably and it's still going to come down. Now, we need to give credit to Messi for having at least an appreciation of his own technical limitations. You know, he didn't try to hit the ball hard because he, he knew he couldn't score. And that's important because there are some freaky takers who relentlessly do things that don't work. And everyone sees that, but they don't seem to be able to, to notice. Um, so he's showing some intelligence here. It's a bit like Ronaldinho scoring under the wall. Again, it's intelligence, it's uh, nice to see, but it's a way to bypass a technical deficiency. And you cannot rely on that sort of solution to become the most successful freaky taker in the game. Ronaldinho, as far as I know, hit the ball under the wall and scored three times. But we don't know, and I don't know how many more times he tried it and it didn't work. And I don't think he tried it just three times and these three times worked. So what I mean is, if we look at technical skill set of Juninho and Marcos Asuncao and Marcelino Carioca, and we look at Messi in comparison, it does have to be Messi, but he is the one who scored um, most goals in the past five years from free kicks, then we immediately see that uh, Messi is inferior. He is much less likely to score. And um, these technical differences are very clearly reflected in the data. Now, if someone says, um, how can we back um, Juninho up with um, conversion rate data? I admit that despite wide research I've done, it's very difficult to find any substantial data. But there are still ways of establishing with clarity and without any doubt that he's far superior. For example, what I would encourage everyone to do is watch footage of Juninho and Asosao as well, taking consecutive strikes. The reason I would encourage everyone to do that, everyone who's interested in this area of the game, is that, at least for me, is the best thing in the game because we are seeing technical excellence. We are seeing something that, if not the most, and certainly among the most difficult technical skills in the game, being produced, and we see it produced consistently. So time after time, they're able to do that. And also, um, both of them scored 
two free kicks in one game on a few occasions. And Asensio also is one of only, to my knowledge, five players to score a free kick from, uh, uh, sorry, to score a hat trick from free kicks. Um, so we've got some, I would say, indirect evidence of their consistency. So um, even though we haven't got all the data, um, Juninho, Asuncao, Marcelino Carioca are far better than, um, let's say, the most successful free kick takers um, of today. There you have it. The elite free kick specialist coach also says that Lionel Messi isn't very good. Uh, and I would believe him. Now here we go, back to this little board. Look at all the lovely data. Neymar isn't very good. But if we go down to the bottom, guess who is? Felipe Coutinho. He has five goals and 25 shots. Uh, well, 25 shots missed. That's 17% conversion rate he has. That makes him technically one of the best free kick takers in Europe today. I would say just by volume, when we go back to James Ward-Prowse, he's gonna be the best. Now, if we look at James Ward-Prowse's numbers, what we discover is that he's pretty amazing at putting the ball into this sort of area here. Now he uses mostly side spin, um, also has a bit of topspin on his shot, but uh, what he's added to his game recently is a knuckleball. And that's the thing that Juninho is said to have invented and perfected, gives it the variety. So now Ward-Prowse can hit those shots from about 35, 40 yards and put them in the goal. He can also convert regularly from close range with his roughly, what's it, 14% conversion rate. And again, if we go to Bartek, he'll tell us whether James Ward-Prowse is actually good or not. From my perspective as a technical perfectionist, the answer is that it doesn't matter because no one is technically excellent. So if we look at the most successful players, for example, in the past five years, no one fulfills the criteria to be seen as a specialist of the level of Juninho or Asuncao. There's no such player. And if there's no such player, then for me, choosing who's the best of the lot is not really um, a particularly fascinating question. And um, that's the first point I would make. Um, nevertheless, um, there are some players to whom I would want to give credit and uh, Perhaps I would start with James Ward-Prowse. Um, what he is doing is technically um, decent. He's make, he may not be a Juninho, but what he's doing has got some um, advantages. He can put a little bit of forward spin to the ball. Um, recently, also, he scored um, a knuckleball free kick, so he's clearly been working on um, um, adding technical skills um, to his game and uh, he's very consistent so what we can see is a player who um, through his practice um, achieved a high level of accuracy high level of consistency recently added another shot and I would say he is a solid free kick taker he is a very good player who definitely deserves the credit he's getting as a free kick taker so there you go, James Ward-Prowse is probably the best one in the world right now, sort of. Messi's not amazing. Do you know who else is not amazing? Cristiano Ronaldo, he's not good at them. Uh, regularly underperforms, this is not good here. And just to throw him under the bus for no real reason, here's Harry Kane. <laughs> Harry Kane, rubbish at free kicks. Don't let him take the free kicks. So, what we've learned today is that Juninho Parmambucano is the best free kick taker of all time ever, according to the eye of a specialist coach, and also uh, numbers which may vary depending on where you get your data from. So that is what we think the best wicket taker of all time is. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments and tell me why Stisa Mihailovic or David Beckham or Ronaldinho or whoever you think is the best. I'd love to know and, and find out who that is. That's it, that's all I've got for you. Have a good time looking up free kicks. Bye bye. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is where the Ralph Rang Nick to Manchester United story broke, where a team of journalists have provided unrivalled coverage of Newcastle United's new ownership and where dedicated writers cover every Premier League team no matter their place in the table. And you can try it free now for 30 days.